Welcome back everybody to a brand new episode of Pokemon Coliseum. Previously, you saw me do the under. That was good. I do like the aesthetic of the under though. It was pretty beautiful. But today, after our little grind sesh, as you saw, my Pokemon are a bit better. And by better, I mean we're in the mid-50s. So, today, we're back in Snagum Hideout to finish the entirety of Snagum. And I will say this, uh, if I do get into any fights, I will just cut them out because they're not necessary. And I think I'm going autopilot again. But yeah, any fights, I will just cut them out because, well, yeah, if I accidentally get into one, at least any other trainer that I have to fight normally, quote unquote, I'll just go out. But we're just going to end off the entirety of, uh, oh, I said Gonza, of, uh, Team Stagum's a little bullshit. And if anything, really happy because, well, progress for more post game stuff will happen. So, it's that simple. <laughs> Let me see what I can put out there. Let me see something. Hmm. All right. This is these two. <coughs> Excuse me. Hello, Gonzap. <laughs> Pretty brazen for a trainer to come back stumbling, huh? I got careless back at Rogan Tower, but this is Snagum Hideout. We might be shouted, but this is my home turf. This is where I make my stand. I can't lose. Welcome back to another fight against Snagum Head Gonzap. Starting off with Armaldo, level 64, battle armor for its ability with the most hyper beam, sword dance, ancient power, and brick break. And Machamp, level 64, guts for its ability with the most hyper beam, submission, foresight, and bulk up. <clears throat> And yes, this is the reason why I wanted to grind up a bit before coming out to fight uh, Armaldo. Or Armaldo Gonza, because he is in the mid 60s and I want to see if I can get a little more levels before. But, but champ's down. So we get to see his next Pokemon. Hooray. Uh, Grand Bow, level 64, with Intimidate for its ability, with the moves Hyper Beam, Bulk Up, Shadow Ball, and Brick Break. You guys are starting to see the, uh... The, uh... The whole thing of, uh, Gonzap's team. Yeah, you get to see the entirety of, uh, what Gonzap wants to do. And, uh, it is not fun. But, yeah, he has Hyper Beam, I think, on every single uh, party member, or every single member of his team. So if they want to use Hyper Beam, they're going to use it. And having two Protect users is very funny. Uh, let's see here. Psychic on Grand Bull, then I'll just do Toxic on the Armaldo. <clears throat> nice. Ancient power. There it goes. Espeon, but I wanted to get the Espeon out for the uh <clears throat> for the for the uh, Machamp. Let's go here. Ah huh. Bug Rock and uh Yeah, Bug Rock and uh No, but I don't I've not seen a, a bug type move on it, so I'm just gonna go for Rose. That's not bad. All right, so yeah. And there is a little thing with Gonza that I find very funny, but kind of annoying if you don't know about it. But I'll say it once we're near, uh, once we're almost done with his uh, fight. But yeah, let's see here. What else can I do? 
I think he can survive a sudden day and then I'll just do another toxic on the Grand Bull. And so, if anything, yesterday was... By the day, time this is being recorded... Ah, fuck. By the time this is being recorded, um... Pokemon Day was yesterday, and I saw the, uh... The Presents. It was good. It was decent. None of, none of the things that none of the things that were there interested me. I have Scarlet Violet, but I just don't play modern Pokemon. Uh, Pokemon Sleep just got announced or announced and revealed, so I'm very happy for that. But yeah, it was something. It was something. And uh, <coughs> the other thing was just uh. Everything else that was just shown just did not interest me. So the TCG stuff that was there was cool, but not a fan of the like not a huge fan. I do like it. I do like collecting the cards and the times I used to play the uh, TCG card game online when I was a thing. I loved playing that, but other than that, just not a huge fan of the TCG. But other than that, it was just just decently overall. I did like the DLC and the new Pokemon that they show. For each of the two new things, Teal Mask and um, Pearl Shell, I'm gonna call it because I do not remember the name off the top of my head. Uh, the Pokemon that are gonna be there for like probably their uh, their forms are gonna be good. But we got Crowdon, level 64, Hyper Cutter for its ability with the moves Hyper Beam, Sword Resistance, Aerialist, and Brick Break. Jesus Christ! Do I even have revives? I know I didn't go to the store. Sunlight is strong. Hmm. Well, that worked. There goes Crowd Hunt. Next Pokemon coming out soon. And it's one of two. We're almost done with uh, his team. Breloom, level 64. Effects 4 for its ability with the moves Hyper Beam, Iron Tail, Sky Uppercut, and Bulk Up. <coughs> but yeah. Last spikes coming out. And I don't know what to do now. I'm gonna do poison on the uh, Breloom, but I don't know what else to do. Hidden Power Dragon is not gonna be good. Shadow Ball. I could just literally say yeah, do Shadow Ball on uh, Breloom. I'll do the Armaldo for now to get the next Pokemon out. But yeah, other than that, the Pokemon Presents yesterday was not that bad. Was I expecting anything like big or something from the spin off series? No. Spin offs are great, the spin offs are pretty good. But I don't think they're gonna do it. It'd be cool, but I don't think they're gonna do it. Gyarados, level 64, another intimidate for its ability. With those Hyper Beam, Dragon Dance, Earthquake, and Bulk Up. So, uh, that's gonna be on one. Ooh, that's a lot. But yeah, other than that, it's just, um, well, every, every time I always see a Pokemon Presents, like the thing I always want the most in a Pokemon Presents. Not because, like, I really, really wanted to exist. More in the sense that it'd be cool if they did it, but I know that they're not going to do it because Pokemon Company just really knows just how to make one game, make it over and over and over again, and then just uh, say they're doing it. Oh, I do have revised. Shit. I could bring it out. X attack on both Breloom and Gyarados, huh? And that's another Thunder coming out. So Gyarados is down with a critical hit. So, the Gyarados is the um, the replacement for the Skarmory if you took it back in Rogam Tower. But if you didn't, Rog, it's here. It's The Skarmory would be here. And it's cool. And here's the one thing about Gonzap that I did say in the beginning of the fight. He is a little weird. Uh, he's a little unique, and 
and when we're once we're, like when we're done with this, I will explain why. But legitimately, he is a little unique, and it's kind of sad why. There goes Breloom. Breloom, my favorite Pokemon. I'm really happy that it came out last. Just end it off now. End it off how we always started with a bang. You grown more powerful. That was decently good. I actually expected to like get swamped, but no, I did decently well. But me, the way things are, I won't give you the satisfaction of asking why you blew up the hideout and abandoned Team Snagum. But you remember this: so long as I breathe, Team Snagum will rise from the ashes again. It says shadows, but I just like saying ashes. And with that will come your downfall. Live in fear. <laughs> Yeah, basically. Win or lose? Gonzap disappears. He'll only stay if you haven't captured the Shadow Skarmory. But once you capture the Shadow Skarmory, win or lose, he dips. So, yeah. No matter what you do, you you take him out of Snagum Hideout, you getting more progress for the story and shit like that. I love how pixelated these letters are. <laughs> we found a D disc. And I think we all know what discs do. If you remember what we had to do before. Let me just. There you go. Go all the way down and leave. Because what we are done with Sagam Hyda. I think if we come back here, Gonza won't be here, but all the trainers will still be here for more grinding, which I will do probably off screen as well to decently level up. Because our next episode is gonna be another episode where I have to do secondary commentary. And it is required for post game. It is not something I have to do out of necessity. Yeah, I'll save my game after. I'll save my game after the recording. 12 minutes. Not bad. Decently long. Let us leave and go back to... Well, let's just go back to the... Our favorite place. Pyrite. Because the kids grid is there. Or the kids are there in general. And we can go to Pyrite. Or the under... One, the thing is done. <clears throat> let's see here. Let's see if they can give us any more hints. I'm went, I almost went to the hotel. Well, we are almost done with this shit, and I have to legitimately waste eight hours to ten out of my life. Oh, hi guys, my tip about Shadow Pokemon is useful, huh? isn't it? You're not it, then. Dear. Damn. Well, they're not in Pyrite. To the under we go. And Chaser Kai is still blocking that elevator, I think, so I'd rather just go through the Pokemon Center and just talk to the kids' grid there. Because if I remember correctly, we are missing a Shadow Pokemon that was in the list of the, uh, yeah, the list that they gave us. And I think it was Shuckle? I think it was Shuckle. Well, let's just leave and go talk to... Well, let me... My Pokemon healed up. Yeah. Let's just go... Well, I was right. <clears throat> New PDA in our message. Who is this? Hi, it's a bit from the under. I was taking photos the other day and when I saw this guy with this amazing head, so I snapped him. He was singing this weird song, something about the Coliseum being his new place. <laughs> oh my god, I feel like I would have actually done this in editing. If you guys heard it, you heard it, but I know what, what I would have used. 
Did you see my photo? That was quite the head, huh? It was mind blowing. It was quite the head. I do like that, uh, that little hairy ass. <clears throat> Let's see here. Look out my email. You'll be getting more information on all the people from now on. Of course, I'll be checking on the Shadow Pokemon list in the meantime. Okay. Well, nothing out of the ordinary. It did give us the uh, <coughs> thing. But this is going to be a decently short episode because I am not going to do the thing we're supposed to do after. But I will be doing a couple things. Use the brand new D disc we got from beating Gonzap. Or just from Gonzap in general, not from beating Gonzap. Let's just walk over there. I need to turn up the mic, the game on my mic for a bit. I talk way quietly sometimes. And well, we are at a brand new location. And we got Steel Teeth. I want to save my game real quick, but we did get Steel Teeth, and if I remember my if I remember correctly, someone actually wanted some teeth. Mahish. Also, what I've been doing recently-ish was that my notes have been wrong for a while, so I've been literally doing some last-minute editing of notes to do shit, and I'm really good at that. But I've been also going back for my. I'm actually playing uh, my next LP, the, uh, the game for the next LP, because something has been irking me about it. And no, it's just the same as I did. Well, for me, for thief, you hand over CT to the old man. Yeah. <laughs> Pokemon, <laughs> Pokemon, Pokemon Pichu pickle they pick up pickleballs. Ah, no more early kitchen. And I can finally talk normally again. Your savior. I thank you for your kindness. It's perhaps not much of a thanks, but I'd like you to have this. The L disc. I have another one, so don't concern yourself over me. We got our final disc for the UFO in, well, the under. Every direction, even 3D. Up, down, left, right, and left. But let me actually organize it again. There you go. Let's go left and get that treasure chest. We have seen since the uh, since the beginning of our under expedition. Also, that's really good. You saw it for like a split second, but you saw Rui there and then it just snapped. Short episode, but well, it might be better because next episode is going to be fun. It's post commentary again, but you will see it. One amulet coin. Doubles the money in the battle if the holder takes part in it. So we get double the money. And if you need it, this is a really good way to grind up the money in the game. Give one of your Pokemon the amulet coin and just keep fighting every single trainer you can fight again for XMX for some really good extra cash. But if you're doing the glitch like I am, the only money you need is just to get the uh, other stuff. Let's do the forward disc to save our game, to check that new location in the under. Do you just have some fun? But I will say this, if the video does cut, it means that we got story progression. And I would rather save that for the next episode, so. So no ending today. Yeah, no, no like ending for today's episode, just if you see a cut, you see a cut, and you know that I actually had to get the story progress. <clears throat> But we are almost done with Colosseum. We have two more things to do before I have to go, go before I have to go on a gauntlet for uh, this game. 
and I'm gonna have so much fun in a VC because I'm gonna be there for roughly eight hours. Should I grind? I probably wanna grind, but I don't think I need to. Let us go forward. The Minor Coliseum is built on the former quarry. It's underground in every sense of the word. Cypher Admins are filing their fangs for you. But yeah, welcome to our last Coliseum of the game and where our next episode is going to be because, well, this is progress for the story. This is progress for post game. And I'm not joking with that. It's going to be pre-recorded. But after the recording of the next Coliseum, in between, I'm going to be like pausing the Coliseum. Yeah, the Coliseum fights and then giving anything the game or any more story progress that the game gives at us. So you don't feel left out or out in the dark for what happens, because the whole point of this progress is that you go in, you do the Coliseum challenge and you keep getting emails from that about a peculiar Pokemon here and a peculiar trainer that we do not know about. But does that need nothing here nor there? Next episode, next time, we're going to be going on to this Coliseum with post commentary, with no music. But I'm going to be trying my damnest to keep you guys in the story while trying to beat this challenge. So thank you all for joining me today. Hope you all have a wonderful day. Help me because I'm going to be here for a while. <laughs>